Hi. So another common question that we've I've been getting recently is that uh, does parental chromosomal abnormality lead to a miscarriage or stillbirth? So let me rephrase that question for some of our viewers today. So what this person means is that does her chromosomes or her partner's chromosome actually lead to the fetal arrest, the pregnancy loss. So they've recently been diagnosed that they have a form of chromosomal abnormality. Something is different about their chromosomes. And then they've been diagnosed that uh, it's because of this that you are actually experiencing miscarriage. You should just go for an adoption or surrogacy or just uh, uh, end the m marriage right there because you will not have a healthy pregnancy. But I'm, today I'd like to clear up this misconception. The parental chromosomes, which means the chromosomes of the mother or father has no role to play in causing a miscarriage or a stillbirth or a even a fetal arrest. It does not play or contribute anything to this uh, pregnancy loss at all. So the only chromosomal abnormality in this case is the fetus one. So fetal chromosomal abnormality or embryonic chromosomal abnormality. This definitely did happen and it caused it to either uh, terminate itself in a fetal arrest or a miscarriage. Now. Fetal chromosomal abnormality will only arise due to environmental changes and not due to your uh, partner's or your own chromosome problems. So environmental factors can be separated into two categories. One is the external environment. The external environment refers to the pregnant mother's environment, the food that she's exposed to, the environment that she lives in, the radiation that she's exposed to. This will lead to, uh, if it's negative uh, influence, it will lead to some chromosomal abnormalities which will lead to stillbirth or miscarriage. The internal environment refers to the, the maternal health, specifically the uterus. Are there any diseases of the uterus, ovaries, uh, her hormonal balance? Does she have an underlying immunological factor that is causing the mutation? All of this actually can be diagnosed if you do a comprehensive prenatal checkup to prevent these types of mutations. So I'd like to do a conclusion for this video. So to answer her question, she is partially right. The chromosomal abnormality does lead to uh, fetal arrest, stillbirth or miscarriage, but the chromosomal abnormality in this case refers to the fetal chromosomes, the embryonic chromosomes, not the parental one. So fetal chromosomal abnormality arises due to environmental factors. So very poor environment will lead to these types of very bad mutations causing a stillbirth or miscarriage. The parental chromosomes, although they have been diagnosed with some form of mutations, these are usually harmless and will not do anything to harm your pregnancy.